All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashum, Yahweh Shai, Bahashum, Rakah HaKadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. Just coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. And uh, just getting into this video today, um, we're just going to stay focused on what? Measuring the time diligently, man. All right, because one thing about when you know how to measure the times, that lets you know that you're being uh, uh, diligent and you're being uh, uh, occupied in the scriptures as the as the as the um, well, as the apocrypha says, man, as, as the scriptures say, man, you're being occupied and your mind is meditating in prophecy, man. All right. And that goes hand in hand with measuring the time diligently, man. All right. So um, just had a quick few scripts that I want to put together through the spirit and Abarats is this quick video is edifying and good nourishment to the house today. Um. With that being said, let me, uh, I'll just grab this real quick for uh, edification's sake. Well, I'm, I'm going to read this first. It says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the sign pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And we're definitely in those times right now. Well, the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, is visiting this earth that he's made, man. All right. And how do we know that? Because we've been, um, let's get it real quick. We've been occupied in prophecies, man. All right. Measuring the times, man. Now, Ecclesiastes, Sirach, and the Apocrypha 39 and 1 says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out of the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. All right. So you're going to be occupied in prophecies. And, and when you're occupied in prophecies, meaning that you're, you're, you're paying attention and you're observing to everything that's going on. What does that mean? That means that you're in the spirit, as we just read in Second Edges chapter nine, you're in the spirit of measuring the time diligently, man. All right. Because most of our people, two thirds of our people, they aren't into measuring the time diligently. They aren't paying attention. They aren't they aren't looking at the chariot sightings. All right. They aren't seeing our apostles and our elders on the highways and byways feeding our people with uh, 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 knowledge and wisdom and understanding where you can get it, breaking it down, plain for for people to understand and receive this message and the words of the Lord. All right. Most of our people are, are in the ways of the world, man. All right. And then also. You have now, you know, you have a lot of these uh, Israelite camps that are in the ways of the world, man. And the scriptures speak about that, about the ones that, uh, if I may, crept in unaware and um, turn, turn the words of the Lord. We're going to let the scriptures speak, okay? Now it says, Jude chapter 1 and 4 says, For there are certain men crept in unawares. Who were before of old ordained to the condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord power and our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. All right, because you have a lot of uh, guys that are, um, as the scriptures tell us in Titus, that are uh, that are that are uh, doing things for filthy lucre's sake, teaching things that they are not. All right. Uh, and then you all what well, the scriptures also speak about guys uh, heaping to themselves as teachers. All right. But they turn the words of, of our Lord or they're attempting to turn the words of, of the, the words of our Lord into lasciviousness. Now, let's get um, we're going to go in the blue letter real quick. Let's hold this first Thessalonians five as well, too. But let's go in the blue letter and let's see what uh, lasciviousness goes into. All right. Now, Jude one in uh, Shalaki, Jalu one. Jude 1 and 4, it says, uh, ordained to this condemnation, ungodly man, lasciviousness. Let's see what it says. Shamelessness. Filthy, wantonness, man. 
All right. And you definitely see that amongst um, ISU, ISUPK, IUIC. All right. Just how, how they go about with the high holy days, how they go about uh, bringing out the message. All right. How they go about uh, uh, trying to pervert the gospel, speaking to add and taking away. And, that, and that's causing filthiness to it, man. This is why, uh, as the scriptures say, we're in the spirit of, I'm going to get back on, I'm um, going to get back in, uh, give me one second. This is why we're in the spirit of um, Romans 16, uh, 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and, off and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them for they are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shammashiach, but their own belly and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. All right. Now it says deceive the minds of the simple man by, by, by good words and fair speeches, because you know, they, they're in the mind frame of pretty much, trying to mix the world with the truth, man. That's why the Lord said, as we, when we read that Jude, we go back to the Jude, Jude 1 and 4, it says, um, for, there are un, for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness, man, filthiness, man. All right, because our power is in these words that the Lord has given us, man. All right. The knowledge, the wisdom and the understanding. But now you have these guys that are twisting and adding and taking away from the scriptures, man. And we know the penalty of that, man. Uh, pursuing the Revelations 22 and 18. The Lord says, if you add or you take away, then he's going to add the plagues in this Bible to you, man. All right. So there, there are a lot of guys who crept in unaware, man, that, 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 that are pretty much, as we go back to the beginning of how we opened up with, that aren't in the spirit of measuring the time diligently, man. Because if you're measuring the time diligently, man, you're going to be monitoring everything that you're saying. You're going to be monitoring how you're moving, pretty much what you're doing, man. You're going to be in that spirit of examining yourself, making sure you're in the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. But see, these guys, as we just read, this is why we be in the spirit of of marking those, and this word mark in this particular one, it means scopeo, all right, and we're going to get that, Romans uh, 17, Shalaki, Romans 16 and 17, for edification's sake, so we can um, show brothers in the few aquabs exactly what that means, man, Romans 16 and uh, 17, let's get the, 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 the definition for um, mark, all right, Strong's G, 4648, Scopeo. 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 It means to look at, observe, to mark, to look at, take heed to thyself. All right. Mark, compare. All right. So, as we read that Jude about the ones that crept in unaware, turning the words of our, our, of our power into filthiness, man, you got you to gotta scope these guys out and you got to compare what they're saying. Uh, uh, as the scriptures say, contrary to the doctrine which we have learned, man. All right. So if you hear a guy saying it's OK to uh, take the jump shot, it's OK to uh, uh, take uh, uh, all type of uh, uh, drugs, it's OK to uh, uh, pop another uh, a man's woman. If you hear, start hearing guys say stuff like that, guess what? Hey, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, we hey, hey, we got to be in the spirit of, 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 of marking those guys, man, scoping those guys out, man. All right. Because they're causing offenses contrary to the doctrine, which which we have learned, man. All right. We give double honors to our apostles and our elders uh, 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 for being hearers and doers of the words and, and, and followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And we and we enter into that same lot, man. So you have a lot of guys that have learned from our apostles and our elders, but yet. Here they are trying to remix the scriptures, man. All right. So this is why we be in the spirit of scoping them out, man. All right. And marking them, man. And telling our people to avoid them, as the scriptures say, man, avoid them. And when we go back to Romans 16 and 18, for they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. The scriptures tell us right there, they don't serve our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right. They're, they're, they're coming in that spirit. Of uh, establishing their own uh, uh, definition of righteousness, man. 
And it says, but their own belly and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. All right. And that simple goes into two thirds of our people, man, believing every word, man, not doing a diligent research, man, not doing the diligent search, man. All right. That's why we at, at, at spirit, we opened up with uh, a second address nine because it says we're going to go back to that second address nine. Now, let's go back to that. All right. Second address. Chapter nine. That's why it says uh, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the sign past, which I have told thee before, and how to, and, and, and that's going into uh, 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 being occupied in the prophecies, man, because paying attention, measuring the time, that means that you're, that you're noticing the timeline that we're in, man. You're noticing the uproars of the people, man. You're noticing the people waxing worse. You're noticing that the sea hip is on the scene. You're noticing that the food is fake. You're noticing that this generation Z, you're noticing that the children are disrespectful, man. You're noticing that hey, the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai is back in the earth and is, and it is breaking down the strongholds of this place, man. Those are all the things about measuring the time diligently, man, and paying attention that the Lord is, is visiting this place, man. That the Lord is, as the scripture says, and then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which He made. So you're paying attention, and you know that this is the time that the Lord is uh, is visiting this place by all the conditions and all the things that the earth and that this world is put uh, the vibration that this world is putting off, man. All right, we can see as Isaiah 60 tells us about the gross darkness, and we can see the gross darkness that has fully uh, uh, submerged this whole earth, man. All right, the scriptures speak about the hurtful works are fulfilled, man. All right. Hey, but but Abaratazah, hey, we're part of that election and we're going to be saved out of this goddamn uh, uh, filthy mess, man. Because we're in the spirit of Micah 2 and 10, man. We know that this isn't our rest, man. All right. Now, um, with that being said, let's jump to real quick. Because um, I just wanted to bring out second address about measuring the time diligently and knowing that this is the time that the most high is visiting. Because when you read first Thessalonians, man. Uh, chapter five, the scriptures say, uh, brethren, let's get, let's get it. First Thessalonians chapter five, and we'll start at the top. It says, but of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. All right. Because, hey, guess what? We're reading these scriptures, man. We're occupied in prophecies as we read in, uh, uh, at Sirach chapter 39 and one. So we're, so we're in the spirit of measuring the time diligently, man. Our eyes have seen our teachers, man, our apostles and our elders, man, giving us the warning, man, telling us to do the due diligence, being like the church of Berea, uh, the church of Berea, looking things up, man, understanding, all right? Being thankful that the Lord has given us pastors that's feeding us with knowledge and understanding, man, all right? So when we read back, because uh, 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 hey, this, this is what Paul is saying, all right? But of the times and seasons, brethren... Ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And see, this is what the hope for humble, fearful elect knows, man. This is why we're in the spirit of examining ourselves to make sure that we're in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Because once again, the scripture said we know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. This is this is why we're not in the spirit of, of those men that crept in unaware, turning the words of the Lord of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashim Shai, into lasciviousness, just filthiness, man. All right. Acting as if it as as if the words of the Lord are not a valid, man. All right. Because we already know the words of the Lord are not going to come back void, man. Once again, as Paul is saying, brethren, we we have no need that I write into you this season because guess what? We're in the spirit of 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 of, of, of being diligent, man, paying attention, measuring the times diligently, man. Paying attention to the signs, man. All right. The chariot sightings, man. All right. The crash of this economy, man. So on and so on, man. All right. Let's continue on. It says, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they say, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travaileth upon a woman with trial and they shall not escape. All right. Because this whole world. It's, it, it's, it's screaming peace and safety. Here it is. We're in the in the midst of hyperinflation, inflation, the dollar bill crashing. All right. 
people waxing worse and worse, people getting uh, dumb and dumber. But yet this this society is all peace and safety or, or good times is on the way, man. But see, uh, 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 the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. And we're in the mind frame of being occupied in prophecy, knowing that when the, when, when, when the system is saying peace and safety is coming, and we, we know that sudden destruction is, is, is not too far off, man. All right? Because we're in the middle, as the scriptures are saying, we're in the middle of those labor pains, man. All right? Because guess what? Eventually that baby is going to come, man. Those labor pains don't last forever, man. All right? And we're in the middle of those labor pains. And guess what? The Most High is about to about to make his great return, man. And Abaratazah, man, beginning with our apostles and our elders, man, we look to be redeemed, man. We want to be a part of that election, man. All right? Hey, we want hey, we 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 want the kingdom, man. All right, one third that one third wants to be redeemed, man. All right, that hundred and forty four thousand that one third wants to be redeemed, man. This is not our rest, man. We can see that because what are we doing? We're measuring the time diligently, man. We're paying attention to the timeline, man. We're not getting engulfed and 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 in love with this world, man. Because once again, the whole earth is covered in darkness, man. All right, and the only way that you're going to uh, escape that darkness is if the light. Of, of, of this glorious gospel, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, shines upon you, man, and you're active in it, man. All right, now let's continue on. It says, First Thessalonians five and four. But ye brethren are not in darkness. Woo! You see that? That light shines upon a the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. John eight and twelve tells you that Yahweh Shai is the light of the world, man. All right, he that follow of him. Matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it. Shalaki. Let's get it. John 8 and 12. This is the book of John, chapter 8 and 12. It says, Then spake Yahweh Shai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Simple. The light of life, following the words, following uh, being a followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, now. Isaiah 60, we quoted it earlier, it says, For behold, Isaiah 60 and 2, well, I'll start at 1, it says, Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is risen, is risen upon thee. The light is come, hey, Yahweh Shai, man, Mashiach, man. He's the light of the, of, of the world, man. All right, that's why it says, Arise and shine, Kwam Yasharala. All right, and the, and the glory of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is risen upon thee, man. And that D goes into the hope for humble, fearful elect, man. All right. Now it says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. That's right, man. That's right. This is why we say, as we read that uh, 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 that Romans earlier, 16, about scoping them out, man. Because you, you, you're going to be able to see who the glory of Yahweh Bashim Shai is on, man. All right. And you're going to be able to see who that darkness is on, man. All right. If they're talking about turning the words of our Lord into lasciviousness, anything filthy, guess what? That's darkness, man. That's not light, man. That's not light at all, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Shai represents the light, represents the truth, man. And, it, and, and, and just that, man. No adding, no taking away, man. Just the truth. The word of the Lord is what it is, man. The Lord doesn't need no revising, no improvising. No adding, no taking away, man. They, the, the words of the Lord are what they are, man. All right. Now, let's get back to um, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 4. It says, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Hey, Abaratazah, we have that light that, that and the Lord keeps his spirit upon us, man. All right. Because we don't want that day, that day, Jacob's trouble, man. That day is going to overtake a whole lot of people, man. The day when the Lord comes back and, and wreaks vengeance on this place is going to overtake a whole lot of people, man. Because guess what? They're, 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 they're in that darkness, man. They aren't looking for the Lord, man. And especially the ones of the circumcision that knew better, guess what? They're in the spirit of, 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 of do as thou wilt, trying to mix the world with the truth, man. All right. And, and, and that's not hey. the Lord says, hey, the, the new heavens is, is going to come to this place, man, that this whole earth and all the works in it have to be burned up and die, man. So how the hell are you have these guys that are saying that they're, 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 they're Israelites trying to mix ways of the world with the truth, man? When the when all the hurtful uh, uh, works in this world are going to burn up and die, man. All right. 
And we're looking for the new heavens that are going to come, man. And the Lord is going to put what? That, 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 that uh, pure spirit on our inside parts, man. We're going to get those new bodies, man. And we're going to have that. We're going to have this, uh, 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 the, the laws on our inside parts, man. That way we're not going to be in the spirit of going off, man. Thinking about going off. We're going to be perfect, man. All right. Now it says, uh, verse uh, five, it says, First Thessalonians 5 and 5, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness, man. That's right, man. Abaratazah began with our apostles and our elders, man. We're children of the light because as we read John 8 and 12, man, Yahweh Shai Mashiach represents that light and we're followers of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. All right? Because the scriptures tell us in our, 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 our Revelation 19 and 10, man. All right? Matter of fact, let's get it. I ain't just going to quote it. I'm going to get it. Let's get it. Revelation chapter 19. And 10, it says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. All right. So being occupied in prophecy. All right. Measuring the time diligently. All that goes into being in the spirit of prophecy, man. All right. And Yahweh Shai represents that, man. So if you're speaking about being a follower of Yahweh Shai and that light, guess what? You're going to be in the spirit of prophesying. You're going to be in the spirit of prophecy, man. Speaking about those things that are about to come to this place, man. Giving our people that warning, man. All right. Now, let's go back to 1 Thessalonians 5 and 5. It says, ye are all the children of light. And, and, and it ain't talking about everybody. You have people to be like, see, it says ye are all. No, it's, all, it's only talking about. The, 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 the hopeful, humble, fearful election, man. All right. The one that the Lord is going to have that mark of exemption, man, for, man. All right. That all. Notice that Paul was saying brethren, brethren, brethren. All right. He's talking to the to, to the, the believers and the followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Now, it says, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. For Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. So we'll say, hey, so we're part of the day, man. We're children of the day, man. We're children of the light, man. And Abarat is out. We're looking to obtain that salvation, man. All right? And with that salvation, what are we doing, man? We're waiting on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We're waiting on Yahweh Shai to come back, man. Because guess what? Yahweh Shai, a re re revenge belongs to him, man. All we have to do is wait. Uh, 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 be a part of, uh, of long suffering, knowing that we're going to have to be a part of that long suffering and continue to do the, 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 the work that the Lord has has ordained for us to do, man. All right. That's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Conducting ourselves as children of the light, man, not uh, uh, moving in darkness, man, because the scripture said uh, uh, many times over just now, man, that we're not of the dark, man. We're children of the light, man. We, we, we got to move with the light, man. All right. We got to move. A, 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 in the spirit, man, and not in the flesh, man. All right, and see that's what a, 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 a and it says, and not sleeping like others do, man, because you got a, a lot of guys in in the circumcision, and two thirds of our people that that are uh, that are totally sleep, man, that are not in the spirit about measuring the times, going back and as we read, and, and paying attention to things that are going on, because clearly the Lord is visiting this place, man. The Lord is clearly visiting this place, man. And it's the time that we're supposed to be in, as the scriptures tell us in Isaiah 55 and 6, six man. Seek the Lord, while, call ye upon him while he is near, man. All right? Because we're definitely in those times right now, man. All right? But as I said, man, it just was a, a very short video. And um, I just wanted to get to the point about, hey, the importance of being a follower of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man, and, and, and governing yourselves at, 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 in that light, man. The expectations that the Lord has for us, man. All right. The Lord has given us examples uh, in our apostles and our elders, man. All right. Of, of, of what to do, man. 
All right, right? He's given us that example, man. And the Lord has also given us those uh those these uh these reject camps, all right? These these uh bootleg Israelites to be example of what not to do, man. All right? Because we read earlier, man, these guys are, 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 are taking the words of the Lord and and, and pretty much uh, 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 putting filth to it, man. Or, or putting filth to themselves, man, because hey, they can't do nothing to the words of the Lord, man. The, the words of the Lord are, are faithful and true. They're going to stand forever, man. But these guys are, are in that spirit of, as, as we read in Jude, man, uh, uh, unawares that crept in, man. And the Lord definitely is going to deal with them, man. All right? Because as we as, as we read also in Romans, it says they, they serve not our Lord, but they serve their own belly, man, with fair speeches. And, and what are they doing? Deceiving the hearts of the simple, man. All right. But hey, as we as we read in this Thess at first Thessalonians, man, if we're children of the light, man, we're not going to be um, we're not going to we're, we're not going to be swayed by those uh, good speeches and uh, uh, fair speeches, man. All right. We're going to be standing 10 toes down with your house shy, man. All right, with Yahweh by Shimon Havashai, man. All right. So um I brought this out this quick video has been edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. I want to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha Kwadash, double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time I do say, Shalom.